Good morning, Together No Limiters. How are you today? Um, man, it feels pretty good. I'm, I'm, we're about to uh, get ready to go to the club uh, to work out this morning. And uh, I said, I have a little time, so let me speak with you. And um, first off, uh, just thinking so happy um, about Lisa being able to amass the property that she's amassing she's going after her dream and um what i want to just encourage you encourage you to do is you all you have passions you have desires that are unique to you just like i do to me and all i want to say is i want to encourage you and i want you to hear me Go after them. Don't let them sit dormant. Um, I have been having a passion uh, since I was very young, and I can't shake it. And it's probably um, the passion that I have is probably one that, you know, well, not probably. It's one that a lot of people don't understand. They When I tell them what my passion is, they go, well, hope that works out for you, Chip. <laughs> but I can't shake it. And what I am just passionate to uh, edify, encourage, and uplift people to realize that they can live their lives without limits. And that's what gives me more joy than any anything. When I'm um, uplifting others, it uplifts me. Um, that's just how that's just how it is. So when I'm doing that on a big scale, I love public speaking. Um, a lot of people, that's one of the, the, the biggest fears for most people is um, they'd rather get a needle stuck in their arm or get pain, um, you know, have pain, be subjected to pain as opposed to uh, public speaking. But I actually love when I'm encouraging people um, to live beyond what is naturally, um, you know, their, their natural limits. Uh, so anyway, that's me. So what I'm um, setting up for is to do that on a huge scale. This, this together, no limits. Uh, though we may be small, we are mighty. And this is the grassroots. Um, trust me, one day, um, you know, people will come and join us um, on a on a bigger um, there'll be more people coming to join us but it doesn't matter the number because if things can happen like um, for Lisa um, for Owen for Mona for Yvette um, if if just a few people's lives are touched mine is touched greatly so uh, that being said, I want you to just not let your passions set dormant. Uh, you may be working a job that's completely unrelated to that which you are passionate about. However, do put one hour a day towards going towards your passion because God put that in your heart, uh, you know, no matter what it is. If it's, if it's singing, um, you know, practice, if it's playing an instrument, if you just find peace, it's, it's that thing that you would do if you already had, um, $200 million, what would you do after you did all the traveling and buying all the cars and the homes and all that kind of stuff, which by the way, does not bring happiness. Okay. Okay. Like I know, but I do know. Um, what would you do after you traveled for two years, you got tired of traveling? What would you do with your time if money was not the object? That's, see, because me, what I would do on a big scale, man, I would have like the Coliseum, uh, the Staples Center. Uh, we would just encourage people to live that. that so that's what just just wakes me up inside is being able to to do that so i do that on a huge scale not i i would i am going to do that 
And, and you're seeing it here. You're seeing me say that here. So what would you do? So take, um, think about it and take a step towards it. Just a little bit. Why don't you try like even five minutes a day, but just don't let it sit dormant. Okay, because you were put on this earth for a reason. All right, together, no limits.